So if you have a lot of messages in Slack or there's something that you need to find, then you can use the search bar. And to do that, you can go up over here onto the top and then search for any messages. And here you can see that there are some uh, tags over here as well, which you can use. But let's just go over here and search for uh, something like rule right over here. So let's say I want to search for all the posts with the word rule in it, and I'm going to press enter. So what happens is that it uh, searched for the messages which contains the word rule. So it's in two channels as you can see right here. So it's in video tutorials and it's in public. So it found a file for it as well, but zero channels and zero people mention it. So let's go ahead and search for something like hi. So I want to search for the word hi. I'm going to press enter and you can see that there's 11 messages that contains hi and there's one channel that is history and no files, no people. You can also go over here onto the side and filter that out. Let's say, for example, you just want to filter out the hi by tutube 2 then you just click out right here and then you can see that that is how you find that out. You can also uh, like se select separate channels right here, like tutube 2 and the codes are added in just like that. So I'm just going to go around and over here, I'm just going to say in. So I'm just going to go to in and let's say, for example, I can go around and set for something like public and in public, I want to, let's say, go around. So in public, you can see that in public, so it lists out, listed out everything in public. So I'm just going to go around and type in zoom right here. So in public zoom. So let's see what it comes up with right here. So it found the post zoom just like this and then uh, I, I can work around with it. I can also see here that there's the zoom file right over here and I can also filter it out with certain dates of post. I can go so select uh, start and end dates right here and I can also select file types right here. So I can be specific with it and search for files just like that as you can see. So that is how you can sit and once you clear it out, you're back to default and you're free to type whatever you want again. So that is how you can use the sets bar to search for messages and files inside of Slack. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.